Okay, hombres, how are you all doing? I hope you're all very well today. Now, I wanted to talk about Call of Duty Black Ops. That's it. Stop dead. Not two, not three. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Now, this isn't a blast from the past and you haven't tuned into an old video because obviously I'm talking about the backwards compatibility for the uh, Xbox One. Now, I have absolutely hit every single brick wall that you can possibly imagine in a, in a maze of brick walls. I just can't find my way out because I can't find any information whatsoever about any release date or, you know, when it's actually going to happen. But I know that the word is out there. There was rumours about the whole backwards compatibility thing with certain titles making their way onto the Xbox One. And um, obviously Black Ops has been mentioned as the first Call of Duty that is going to feature on there. But when? I don't know. I have looked everywhere. So if anybody's got any information on that, then I would really appreciate it if you could link it in um, the sort of comment section. But I just wanted to point out and express my pure excitement for this because I absolutely loved Black Ops 1. And one of the disappointing things for me in a certain respect was that I never started my channel during the Black Ops 1 era. Um, I drifted into Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops 1 would have been a game that I would have loved to have covered because there were so many angles on that game and uh, you know there were so many elements to it that it just would have been an amazing game to cover and I've watched so many YouTubers in the past who've covered every element you can possibly imagine with that game and I thought I wish I'd have done that, I wish I had a part to play in this whole spectrum of YouTubing when it comes to Black Ops but I wasn't there so that's an unfortunate thing but Black Ops was an amazing game it's you know when it, I first had it for the Xbox 360 um, I remember having the first month of just complete and utter fun, you know, I couldn't put the game down. Then it went a little bit crap and, you know, we ended up getting the Lag Ops title um, embedded into it. But after a bit, it sort of sorted things out and I just, it was the one game that I ventured and played so many different game types. It was where I first discovered Demolition, you know, I never played Demolition before, never played it on Modern Warfare 2. Um, and then all of a sudden I decided to play it on Black Ops 1, if you want to call it Black Ops 1. And I suddenly discovered what it was like to get like, you know, 180, 200 kills a game with uh, the chopper gunner dogs combination. So many hours of fun to be had running around with my Colt Commando. Um, was it a Colt Commando? With the Commando, you know, the assault rifle, the Commando with a suppressor. Just absolutely love that gun. Playing free for all. Free for all was fantastic. On Black Ops, you know, perfect spawns, perfect sound whoring, perfect ways of staying quiet. Just everything, you know, claymores dotted about everywhere. Just brilliant. Just so much fun. I miss it so much. And I, you know, I've been back and played it a few times on the 360. And unfortunately, there's not enough players there to make it, a, you know, sort of a smooth ride. But the fact it's going to be coming to the Xbox One is very exciting because I can only imagine that there's going to be, you know, dedicated servers hopefully Treyarch might tweak one or two things on there just to uh, you know from lessons learnt maybe with a ghost perk they would put it so that you're not permanently off the radar whatever you do so people can sit in corners maybe they'll look at it and say do you know what we learnt our lesson with Black Ops 2 and with Black Ops 3 that you have to be moving you have to be bouncing around the map and not sitting stationary in a ghillie suit with a Galil and a suppressor <laughs> hiding in the many corners of, uh, of Black Ops. So yeah, it's a very welcome bit of news. And I only found out from a couple of guys at work who were talking about it, who do have the Xbox One, who were equally as excited as me. Now, the only issue I have, the only sort of dilemma that I do have, um, I don't know whether it's just an Xbox One exclusive, but I don't have an Xbox One, which means I am going to probably have to go out and buy an Xbox One. Which, you know, I, I didn't really have any plans to get an Xbox One. I did like the Xbox One when I had it for a while. Um, the only reason I traded it in was because it was financial reasons. You know, I kind of, um, I lost my job because I got so sick last, well, a couple of years ago, if you guys remember. Um, and I wasn't working, so to raise some money I had to sell my Xbox One. But I fully intended to buy an Xbox One back again when Black Ops 3 was released. Uh, unfortunately, I played the beta on the on the Xbox One. I borrowed one from a friend, and I just think it ran so badly. And everybody was saying, no PS4, it's running smooth as anything. You know, it's as smooth as a 18-year-old virgin's boobies. <laughs> that I thought, okay, I'm going to get a PS4. Uh, PS4 is clearly the way forward and now I'm finding out from people saying no Xbox one it's so smooth it's clean not like you shady little PS4 users where you're lagging and you're having loads of problems 
So, as usual, I make a bad decision, supposedly, I don't know. But you know what, maybe having two consoles probably isn't going to be a bad thing. It's not like they're hand-me-downs. Um, you know, I'm fully intending on going out and investing in one. And if the Black Ops is just released on the Xbox One, then I've got to go down that route. And I don't know why they've gone to, uh, you know, just a Black Ops to start off with. I'm quite surprised they didn't go to Call of Duty 4 or maybe to Modern Warfare 2. I think that would have been a great thing to have Modern Warfare 2 on a next-gen console. But they've gone to Black Ops. So that's good enough for me and um, as far as I'm concerned the only way is down from there because then it's uh, Modern Warfare 3 which was okay and then Black Ops 2 uh, yeah I would have liked to have seen Modern Warfare 2 I really would or even World at War Can you imagine World at War next gen console with dedicated servers how fantastic would that be but um, I think the interesting thing from a sort of viewers perspective will be looking at the counter of how many people are online on the current Call of Duty so say games like Black Ops 3 or you know, Call of Duty Ghost 2 or whatever game that's going to be. If they have these backwards compatible, um, you know, vintage Call of Duties, maybe there's going to be a lot of people who never played those games and only got into Call of Duty during Advanced Warfare or Ghost are going to go back and play and say, Do you know what, I see what you guys were talking about. This is fucking amazing. And then in Call of Duty Ghost 2, where we're probably all still war running, people are going to say, no, I, I can't be doing with this. But it's okay. I don't have to go into my closet and dig out the Xbox 360 or the PS3. I now have it on Xbox One or hopefully PS4. So screw you, Activision, with your new releases that are probably going to be garbage. I'm going back to black. So I don't know, let me know, are you excited about this as much as me? Because um, I know there's a lot of guys out there who do love the uh, who do love the classic Call of Duties like myself, but will it be a great thing? Will it sort of keep itself true to the game? Or will they try and revamp too much stuff and almost make it barely recognisable to the point where you think uh, it was probably best to let sleeping dogs lie? I don't know, let me know. And also let me know the release date if you have that information. That would be fantastic. Thanks for watching guys, Apocalypse Done.